Mother's Emotion Soap Series, Episode 5. Finally. We've come to joy. What is joy? A lot of people say it's different things. For a lot of people, they, they feel it's different things. But generally speaking, joy is a positive attitude or a pleasant emotion but it's so much more than that. Even the wicked are said to experience joy when they do wrong against godly people. And so, what is the difference? What is the difference between one and the other? The joy of the people of God is different because it's holy and it's pure, like God is. And this is the kind of joy that rises above circumstances. It focuses on the very character of God, His mercy, His righteousness, His creation that's all around us, that's evident everywhere we look. Obviously His Word. It's obvious in His Word when you read it. And also in His faithfulness. How very, very faithful He is. So this kind of joy is distinct from mere happiness and that this joy is possible even in the midst of deep, deep sorrow. And we've all known deep sorrow, different circumstances in our lives that has been very, very difficult for us and has made us unhappy. And yet there's something inside that keeps us grounded that keeps us going, something that when everything else is going wrong, something that is there always, and it's joy. Joy cannot be robbed from you, it cannot be stolen from you, it cannot be taken, and it can't be sold to you by someone else. You can feel joy for other people and they can feel joy for you, of course, but your own joy is what grounds you. It is what is the center. And God gives us that kind of perfect joy. And He's given it to me. Today's glycerin soap has a core that is made of pure shea glycerin soap. That's all it is. It's not goat's milk and shea like I usually do. It's not cocoa butter and shea. It is pure glycerin soap and it's snow white and it's very gentle and so I tried to find a soap that I felt had the characteristics of God being snow white pure and gentle I will pour goat's milk and shea and clear glycerin uh, in gradient grays I'm gonna try that uh, using charcoal and that's gonna represent the storms of life because we all have storms things that happen changing of circumstances just difficult times where you know how when you're driving in a storm and even your windshield wipers are not helping you cannot see two feet in front of you and you don't know if there's a car or if there's a telephone pole right in front of you those kind of storms so even in the midst of storms of life, what we're going to have in this soap is the white core, which is the center, and it's joy. I hope you enjoy this soap, Joy. Soap Peasant here with Emotion Soap Series Episode 5, and this one is Joy. And I'll show you what I did. I have goat's milk and shea glycerin melt and pour soap heated up. And I have not fragranced it yet. And I also have clear that I have heated up. And I have some on reserve as well. I'm using frosted pine cone from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I'm also going to be using some kale and clay mixed with alcohol for making uh, a different shade. I'm going to be doing uh, 
different shades of, of, of black and into grays and this is activated charcoal in alcohol. Now this I'm going to show you first. What I did is I took a paper towel roll. I took the tube from the paper towel roll. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm making the core for this. And so this is going to go in the middle, hopefully in the middle. <laughs> it's going to be somewhere near the middle uh, and suspend in this particular loaf of soap. And so what I got to do first is I got to get it out of the tube. Golly, <laughs> what a mess, <laughs> what a mess, and boy did that take a long time. I'm going to, I say this every time I do this, but I'm going to find a better but still inexpensive way to do this. Nevertheless, this, once it's trimmed and I get this weird end off, uh, <laughs> and this concave end off. Plus, I gotta I gotta fix this because obviously the paper folded somehow, and when I poured, it, some of it went underneath the paper, some of it went on top of the parchment paper. Oh, well, hey, you know what? <laughs> Lovely. So I will make a repair to that and uh, try to smooth it out as best I can, but. Nevertheless, um, I'm going to trim it and this is what is going to go in the center. So here's my core. And so let's go on to the next step. I'm going to show you real quick what I'm going to do to smooth this out. Uh, what I did to fill in the dent, that piece that was missing, because I had that, that chunk that got folded in, is I went ahead and reheated some of this core and I just used a spoon and filled it in. So instead of trying to glue the piece back in with melted soap, I just filled it in. And what I'm going to do to smooth it out is a little trick. Use paper towel and just like you're sanding a piece of wood, just do like that. And it really works and just keep folding it to a different area once you feel like that part of the paper towel has soap on it and it is not really sanding anymore it's sort of gliding then you just move it to a, a different part and so that's what I'm gonna do all the way down I'm not gonna get it perfectly smooth but I am gonna get some of the major crinkles out and then cut off the edges and will pour the foundation that this pretty hefty core is going to sit on. Alright my friends, I have used the paper towel sanding technique and gotten it pretty, pretty nice and even I would say for our purposes anyhow. And I just barely, barely trimmed off the ends so that we'd have a 
so that we'd have a clean end to work with. And so it fits down into our mold. And it's going to sit right about there, I think. So I'm going to put this over here so that we don't have any kind of problems with it and sort of fold the, the plastic over it. Now I'm going to get the mold ready and put the fragrance in uh, the melted base and add the colorants and show you what I'm going to do in order to hopefully get the storms going because the bottom half is, is going to be storms and then our core and then the storms on the top and I'll tell you I'll tell you I had a hard time finishing this one and not not at all because I didn't know what I was going to do or because I didn't know what I wanted to impart with this soap or that I had had any kind of change of heart with regard to my explanation of this soap but I'll tell you that it's just a very timely soap which I planned this way way a long time ago but it's just a very timely soap because our family has had a situation happen a very devastating situation happen that has rocked our family to its very core and when something goes to our very core that's that's a good place for us to be even in the bad circumstances and in the storms of life that we're fixing to create it is the one thing that we can be sure of it is the one thing that we can have great hope in when other important things in life fail us and so I'm pleased to make this joy soap even in the midst of real honestly storms really really bad storms so I hope I can do the storms justice because these are really bad and so I want these to look really bad so let me get to coloring them up and we'll get to pouring them out and and we'll see if it can uh, be reflective uh, quick reminder <laughs> I'm no Dean Wilson so don't expect the swirls to be <laughs> his caliber but I shall try I've got the fragrance in and my temperatures are coming down pretty quickly which is kind of good so what I'm going to do first is I am going to add some charcoal to this first round
Okay, we're going to let that sit for a few minutes and then we're going to spray our core and set it down in there. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Alright, here's what I've got. I've got this base that is slightly firm to the touch, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to I guess drag this fork because that's what I have. I'm going to just barely kind of scratch scratch the surface a little bit just to give it a better chance of adherence. And I don't mind if it kind of sinks down a little bit. I don't mind. It's pretty heavy. And it doesn't look like it wants to sink down. So I'm going to try to make it sink down. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, if it doesn't do what you want it to do, make it do what you want it to do. <laughs> Which one is this? I have the, I have some white goat's milk and shea with some clear. More white than clear. In here, I have more clear than white. So it's white and clear, but just more of one than the other. In this one, I'm going to add the kale and clay. Here we go. I have fragranced and tinted both of these containers. And I have two different shades. Now what I'm going to do is give just a little bit. I know I already kind of prettied this up and now I'm scratching on it, but I want it to adhere. And so I'm just going to do very light, light, light little. All right. I'm going to spray it like there's no tomorrow and start to pour. Let me see what my temperatures are. Now I will get rid of the bubbles. And we'll do the time, the final top. We'll do the final top in just a minute. I have had an idea. I have had an interesting idea. I've not seen this done before. I can't wholeheartedly recommend it because I haven't seen it done before. But I'm fixing to do it. What I'm going to do is I scratched this up a little bit more. I'm going to spray it good. And my temperature on this last, it looks like the um, dust bowl cloud, doesn't it? That's what it looks like to me. Um, let's see. I got 133. Because I would not pour this hot, this is too hot to pour, I'm going to see about streaking it in there. And what I mean is taking some, I might use the spoon rather than the fork, but you know, like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the spoon, but it will, it will cool quickly.
Here's the Joy soap that we made and it's been sitting 